Hello friends, in this video we will see another set of uh, two mark uh, question and answer from the first unit problem solving in the subject artificial intelligence. The first question is what is meant by heuristic search technique or they may simply ask define heuristic search. So heuristic search refers to a searching strategy that attempts to optimize a problem by iteratively improving the solution by iteratively improving the solution based on a given heuristic function or a cost measure based on given heuristic function or cost measure. So, in heuristic search the path cast the path cast from the current state to the goal state is calculated that is they may give an assumption cost that is imaginary cost value from the current state to goal state by using that imaginary value we can select the minimum path cost as the next state as the next state ok. This additional information which additional information the assumed value of current state to goal state can be added as assumption to solve the problem assumption to solve the problem ok. So, here this is the initial state and there may be so many states in between and our goal state is this one this is our goal state ok and for all the nodes they may give some additional information regarding the cost of this current state to goal state ok. Based on this cost value that is heuristic value we can find which will be the next node to expand right. So, based on that value only we can select the next state that will be very much helpful to reach the goal in the shortest path ok. So, this is called as heuristic searching technique and example for this heuristic searching technique is first one is best first search and second one is greedy search and third most important one is A star search ok. This is called as heuristic searching technique that is the search refers to a search strategy that attempt to optimize a problem by iteratively improving the solution based on the given heuristic function or cost measure. The cost measure is the cost value from the current state to goal state. The current state may be anything it may be a initial state or any of the intermediate state right. Next question is what is the use of online search agents in unknown environment? Online search the agent operated by interleaving computation and actions first it takes an action first it will take an action and then it observes the environment and compute the next action. Okay, first it will take an action that is it will execute an action and then only it will observe the environment. So, based on the environment result it will compute the next action. So, this is called as online search agent in the unknown environment. The online search is a good idea in dynamic, semi dynamic or stochastic domain. Stochastic means non deterministic domain ok. The environment is not fully observable that is called as unknown environment and it is for an exploration problem where the state and the actions are unknown to the agent ok. So, it is exploration problem because the states and actions are unknown to the agent. We cannot predict priorly before executing 
the particular action because the environment is dynamic it may be a semi dynamic or it may be a stochastic dynamic that is non deterministic dynamic domains right the next question is what do you mean by best to first search best to first search a best to first search is to use an evaluation function evaluation function f of n to decide which adjacent is most promising and then that particular node will get explored okay so to exploring next node or to identify the next node the best to first search will use this evaluation function to decide which promising node will be the adjacent node that is to be explored and this will come under the category of heuristic search or informed searching technique for example so here we are having uh, some nodes a b and this is c and d and this is e f and this f is our goal state and a is our initial state as it is informed searching technique here we are having the cost value and this is 2 and this is 1 here this is 10 2 3 1 0 and here it is 1 okay this is our example uh, state space from this we are going to start our searching from the node a from node a which is the minimum path cost node c will get the minimum path cost node so next we will select this c to explore and from this c which is the minimum path cost node here e e is having minimum path cost so the next node will be the e from e we are having only one node that is our goal node the path cost is 1 okay this is how the best first search will get executed the next algorithm is uh, hill climbing searching technique hill climbing is a local search algorithm which continuously moves in the direction of increasing values in the direction of increasing values to find the peak of the mountain or the best solution to the problem and the algorithm will get terminates when it reaches the peak value where no neighbor has higher value okay this is the diagram for this hill climbing search here the algorithm will moves towards the increasing value okay and it reaches the peak means this is the global maximum because this is the highest value of all the search space values and this is the local maximum because the next value is not the higher value of this particular one so this is called as local maximum and the flat is nothing but shoulders the flat value means all the neighbors are having same value that is nothing but flat okay and our current state is here this will move only the increasing order the next value should be the increasing one and by applying the objective function we will get the next state and this is the state space okay and this is the hill climbing search the next important algorithm is the genetic algorithm this is otherwise called as ga genetic algorithm is an adaptive heuristic search algorithm and the algorithm reflects the process of natural selection where the fitness individuals are selected for reproduction 
in order to produce offspring of next generation. Next generation means successor state and the successor states are generated by combining two parent state rather than by modifying a single state. This is called as genetic algorithm. This is called as genetic algorithm. Let us uh, uh, see this with an uh, diagram. Here we are having parent 1. This is parent 1 and this is parent 2. Parent 2. So, by combining these two parent, we are uh, getting this offspring. And this is called as offspring. Okay. So, by applying the successor state, that is, we are going to pick the fittest parent to generate the next generation, that is, successor state, otherwise called as successor state. Okay. And the important properties of this particular uh, genetic algorithm is gene chromosome and population. The next one is what is local maxima? Local maxima. Local maxima is an important component in hill climbing algorithm. It is a peak. It is a peak that is higher than each of its neighboring states, but this is lower than the global maximum. And this is the diagram for hill climbing algorithm. Here, our local maximum is located here, but global maximum may be somewhere else in the state space. What is meant by local maximum? All the neighboring states of this local maximum will be lower than the maximum state. Okay. All the neighboring values are lower than the maximum state. So, this is called as maximum, but this is the local maximum because the global maximum may be placed somewhere else. This is called as global maximum. The next one is online search space problem that is definition of online search space problem. Here, online search problems can be solved only by an agent executing actions rather than by purely computational process and the, the agent will know only the two things. What are the two things? First one is the set of actions which will be executed on the state S yes, that is the current state. Actions of S yes, which returns a list of actions allowed in the state in S. Yes. S yes means any of the state and we can call it as a current state and next one the step cost function the step cost function what is the function c of c means cost c of s s is the current state a is the action which is executed on this particular state and s date that is after executing an action on this state then we will get the s day s dash that is the resultant state of this particular action and what is the cost value of this particular action on this particular state right unknown to the agent when it reaches s dash goal test of s goal test of s so online search problem means the problem can be solved only by agent executing actions agent executing actions rather than by purely computational process and the agent knows only what are the actions to be executed on a particular state and the step cost function the step cost function and to test whether the resultant state is gold state or not so this is called as online search problems and next one is optimal decisions in games a game can be formally defined as the kind of search problems with the following components. What are the components is there? First one is initial state. For all the problem we should have an initial state and this includes the board positions and uh, identifies the player to move 
and next one is the successor function which returns a list of move state pairs indicating a legal move and the resulting state and next one is terminal state terminal test which determines the game is over and the next one is utility function it is otherwise called as payoff function or objective function which gives a numeric value for the terminal state this is called as optimal decisions in the game what are the optimal decisions we need first one is initial state successor function terminal test and utility function the next one is uh, drawbacks of hill climbing search what are the drawbacks of hill climbing search uh, the first drawback is local maxima local maxima is the first drawback that means local maximum is the peak that is higher than the neighboring state but lower than the global maximum local maximum it seems the maximum value of its neighbors but there may be a global maximum in some other place in the state space and next one is ridges ridges means a sequence of local maxima which has a slope that is, uh, gently moves to a peak and next one is plateau plateau is an area of state space landscape, uh, landscape where the evaluation function is flat that is the flat local maximum is called as plateau okay so what are the drawbacks of hill climbing search first one is local maximum and second one is ridges and third one is plateau the next important question is constraint graph the constraint graph that will come under constraint satisfaction problem csp means constraint satisfaction problem which is usually represented as an undirected graph and it is called as constraint graph where the nodes are variables and the edges are binary constraints nodes are variables and edges are binary constraints and this constraint satisfaction problem can be viewed as incremental formulation as a standard search problem which are first one is initial state initial state is empty assignment state that means the variables are not assigned and next one is successor function the successor function assigns a value to unassigned variables so initially there may be no val variables and here we are going to assign values to unassigned variable which provides it does not conflict with the previously assigned variables and next one is gold test gold test means the current assignment is complete or not we need to test that and the last one is path cast the constraint cast of every step and what are the components here initial state successor function goal test and path cast this is called as constraint satisfaction problem friends here i gave only a limited set of questions from the first unit and uh, i know i missed uh, so many questions and if you know those questions please give in the comment box and if possible you can give the answer for those questions also and the answer should be a very short answer because this is these are the two mark questions okay thank you all of you all the best for your university examination